That's one thing what about the is hobby, up, Crawler uh, fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texelma yeah. RC, no what, and it, today it, it, we it, have it, another Batty Buddy video. That's what we're doing, dude. Batty and Buddy, and then at the same time, we're showing off what is the all new freaking rebrand, restart, whatever it is, dude, restructuring. There it is. You see him, dude, right there. Oh my gosh. We're running the old wheels. But, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, it is freaking dope. We'll talk about it later. So, man, I sure appreciate everybody in this community for showing your love, for showing your support, for just freaking buying a Slayer, dude. I appreciate you. And so, if you didn't know, the homie's been waiting a minute. And there's many excuses. So, real quick, if you're new here, Welcome, dude. Ooh. My name is freaking Josh. That's almost RZ, dude. You're freaking boy. We do cars, right? Oh. I make this freaking Slayer. It's my freaking passion. So the Viper Slayer up there, that's the purple guy. That's what we used to run, dude. Or that's one of the one of the versions. Dude. We made a lot of them, right? Lots of versions over the past year. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, some of the things that, that I did uh, we, you know, were a little too complex. Some things that I did were, uh, you know, it just was uh, maybe it wasn't pretty enough. Like the one, the rig that Sammy drives at the end here. This is Sammy's rig in the front. Uh, it was one of 11. Uh, anyways, limited edition. So anyways, dude, where have I been? I've been working my butt off. Getting my A kicked, right? Super duper. If you can't tell, dude, there's not a whole lot of excitement in my voice, and it's not because I'm not excited, it's because I'm not exhausted. And so, anyways, I made it, dude. We freaking won. Next time you hear me, it'll be better. I promise I will get some sleep at some point. But for now, dude, we just had to win. So, your boy Josh has been drawing on a program, Shaper 3D, and uh, that's what I've drawn all my parts on. So, I just started, I watched a little tutorial, like, oh, okay, yeah, hey, yeah, you do that, okay, all right. So I started drawing. I have not con kept up with my continuing education credits uh, with the drawing program as it's grown. And so somewhere along the way, probably three or four months ago, different changes were made that don't like what I do, how I've made parts. And so uh, I need to go and learn hey. how to do that properly. Uh, by watching some tutorials and stuff. Yeah, right. However, that was not going to help me over the past week. What I needed to happen over the past week was to fix what was breaking. And there was no help. There was nothing I could find to help me out. So I did the same thing. It's like freaking Groundhog Day for over a week. Did the same thing every day, basically. You wake up and it was, you know, whatever I need to make a fix, the thing is gone. It's broken. So I got to work hard all day. Up, you know, I, last night, last week, I stayed up two nights, dude, two full nights, uh, and only slept of, like four hours. Uh, one, you know, like one night I had seven hours of sleep, dude, in over a week. I was so tired, bro. I'm so freaking tired right now. But we made it to the end, and I am here to say, dude, thank you to the homies. Thank you for being patient. And I know that it hasn't hardly even been on screen, but at some point you're gonna see. At some point, you know, at the beginning here, we do struggle a little. Disclaimer. Uh, I haven't been driving. Hey, I certainly haven't been Bridge. driving this rig. This rig only existed since the yesterday, and it's the form that it's in. Uh, you know, I have driven it one day before that. Uh, but for the most part, we've been drawing. Uh, and then before that, I was working on TRX. And so, anyways, we started off already behind when I made my announcement. I got, then I got super ton of orders. Uh, as I was working on the TRX for a uh, for the, uh, the Mias rig, I got that for a customer wanted it, and even though it's not for sale, a customer wanted it, so I had to get it done. It's already sold, right? I already got the money, spent the money a month ago. So that has to get done, but so does all of the orders. Well, in the meantime, I came up when I, with this idea to get this printer. So we got this printer. We got a Anycubic resin printer. Uh, what we're running now is an ABS-like Pro 2 uh, resin, and uh, oh, as we it. go along it. and Great we play job, with man. it, uh, we may begin to add some tough resin nice uh, job, to add dude. some flexibility if it's necessary. Uh, you know, buy with confidence. Uh, it's only going to be ten bucks for a replacement, dude. If you can get me five bucks and then cover shipping, five bucks, nice dude. Job. That's what that's what nice ten bucks day. is. Uh, you know, just to keep it rolling. 
I used to have the replacements at five dollars, and all that covered was shipping. It did left. I still had to play, pay for the envelope, you know, the freaking all the rest of this stuff, you know, the plastic. I had to pay for all that stuff, you know, and uh, so I don't mind, you know, comping some time or or whatever, you know. But I also had to, you know, make sure that at least the materials get paid for, you know, at the end of the day, uh, and so. We got a ten dollar replacement, and I may do a twenty dollar replacement or something like that. Uh, you know, we'll see. Just something that's like a like a bigger like you just like like get a whole like refresh or something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, details on all that coming. These are things I had not thought about. I had not planned what I was thinking about in this video. I literally work, 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 and got this done. And we're now we're like, okay, now we got to talk. So maybe it would be a good idea to plan, and that's something that I will be uh, doing in the future. But you know what? Right now, rip. If look, look at him in the back, right, dude. Oh my gosh. That left steering, that left knuckle is a little bit loose. I think that the hole is wallered out in the axle housing. I need to swap that out, uh, but it allows it to, to like steer over like freaking all the way over. So crazy, too far. Well, rip to flip there, Craig, uh, in your beautiful purple gladiator build. It's so gorgeous. But look at this. It's not as gorgeous as this. Look at him, dude. So we are gonna ride in the back for quite a while. Like I said, disclaimer. Uh, I made a couple mistakes, like right here. This is just bad. Ah. That's just my bad. Just my bad. So this thing is does have a little bit more steering throw, uh, you know, that I got to get used to. The biggest thing is I'm not running Trixies, right? I've been running uh, the uh, first. I was running the the SCX Mias Prime Rig with the Trixies, uh, and then uh, I worked. I was developing the TRX Mias with the Trixies, and oh my gosh, both of them are absolutely super duper savage. Uh, you know, but what really, really, really what makes them the dopest is the Trixies, right? The Trixie wheels with hangers, uh, you know, putting six ounces below your axle is a uh, freaking rad. So anyways, it was really hard actually coming back when I put this together and started testing this, uh, like I said, a day or so ago, uh, you know, just because that's where I was driving. Uh, and then you're like, so is it not doing good or is it doing good? I can't really tell. It's doing freaking amazing. Uh, it's just when you are when you've been to driving the next level coming back uh, You're like, oh, well, yeah, it's pretty good So and again all that I'm talking about is the difference in the Rattlers versus Trixie wheel sets uh, And uh, you know, there you go. There's a huge difference in price uh, You know just the tungsten is more than you know what you pay for these wheels with tires, right or actually No about the same a little bit less Anyways, dude, doesn't freaking matter, bro. Doesn't matter. Here we go. So, looking good in the front, Sam. He freaking kept it down. We stayed in this leader in this leader uh, order. It seemed like for a little little good while here. Uh, every time Sammy flipped, then Craig flipped, then I flipped, or it seemed like something like that. Uh, and so, just the way that it goes uh, <laughs> until the end, I freaking finally had it. Ran for a, quite a while in the front. Uh, pretty do some pretty awesome tricks. Uh, you know, not really. We didn't do anything really awesome. We just did uh, driving around and try to do you know try to do some hard stuff going forward. Make it look hard. Make it look crazy. Just test it out. So it was a great time, dude. Great freaking time uh, on the rocks. So we will get like an actual like show off and, and, and whatever, you know, a little bit uh, better. But I just had to just make a video for the homies, bro. I freaking oh miss you. I freaking miss doing this. I freaking, uh, dude, I love you guys, man. Like seriously, you know, no homo, you know, it's just like, uh, you know, something that I really enjoy just doing this and sharing yeah, with the community. And, uh, you know, I know that it's, you know, terrible. it's freaking a passion of mine, man. And I, and, I just want to say thank you that you guys like made this possible right like uh you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. what happened is like every you know obviously orders came in and i knew that was going to happen but my parents stepped up and and paid for this whole new print setup uh for me uh you know and then also with orders i had enough to buy you know plastic and the rest of the stuff that i needed to get going and uh you know so like well, not plastic, but resin, I know, but uh, you know, and so, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, I, right now I have orders that I have to fill, you know, I, I keep, I, I don't have time to get a job today. So, so as long as orders keep coming in, we, we're going to keep doing this, you know, like, but like, so that's the deal. Like I need this to keep going, bro. And so that only happens when we freaking sell slayers, we sell freaking parts. Uh, we hook up the homies, right? So I need you homies to freaking buy a slayer you know what i'm saying like obviously if you just bought a slayer dude get ready because this is what we're shipping so if you don't want this or you wanted the other plastic or you want a color 
uh, we'll work it out maybe in the links or the wheels or something, but the wheels can, everything I'm doing right now is only black. Sammy, look at him, nasty. Oh my gosh. So we're only doing black plastic right now. Uh, I need to set a time scale, but again, I have not thought about tomorrow because every single day has been repetitive. I've made plans, I've told people things, I've failed people over and over again. I stop responding to messages because every time I open my mouth, I say something that I can't do because the stupid program crashes and it's not, you know, it's obviously it's my fault, but there's nothing I can do about it today. Right, and so I end up saying things over and over, and I feel freaking terrible, dude. Uh, and so I know communication is a good thing, but at the same time, when every time I communicate, I'm going to say something that's stupid, you know, that makes it even worse, you know. And so, like, I'm lying or something, and I definitely am not lying. I just say things I I can't make happen, even though I think I can, you know. I want to, uh, and so that's the deal, bro. And I'm very, very sorry that uh, that you know, if I told you something that didn't happen, it wasn't because I was just, uh, you know drawing you along or set, telling just telling you what I think you wanted to hear uh, you know I, I was I that's what I wanted to do bro and I just couldn't make it happen and I'm sorry dude uh, I got to do better about that uh, will you please forgive me and I will try to do better next time uh, you know and so but please know that I will take care of all of you guys uh, and but at the same time dude because of this new setup I will be catching up super quick what I can now produce uh, it, this thing helps me out and solves like all my problems. So we are slightly, potentially slightly, uh, not quite as durable. We traded for beautiful. Uh, we traded for the parts that we can make uh, and we'll back them up, right? Rip to freaking flip, dude. If they break again, I have a plan to fix that, but we have to find out what happens first, right? We gotta go break some crap. Uh, so you know what? It's gonna probably break. Uh, you know what? As always, CA glue is your friend. It goes back together, right? And then at the same time, 10 bucks hooks it up, dude. Whatever you got a problem will get you fixed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so just buy with confidence, dude, and we can uh, keep you rolling. So this stuff, if you have uh, ever had resin, uh, the ABS-like plastic or resin uh, really kind of developed over the past. I mean, it's probably been around for oh, quite a while, but the uh, consumer grade, ABS like plastic from any cubic uh, they've come out with multiple plastics just within the last year it, resins uh, multiple versions of it uh, again they're already on uh, the pro 2 uh, you know so it's quite flexible uh, and again um, it does it will shatter it can be when it's very you know in certain you know certain places certain uh, you know configurations you know it can be brittle still uh, but for the most part, it's quite flexible. Uh, and then also, I, I can add uh, tough resin to begin to uh, to make it even more flexible if we need to. But at the same time, it becomes almost soft, and so you don't want to use just the tough resin. Plus, it's like twice as expensive, uh, so not cool. But I do want to come up with some cool stuff for that because uh, it's like kind of like the material used in some of like the soft mirrors and things like that yeah, everything uh, that so that they, they kind of like bend well. uh, and, and they don't, don't break off so I'm thinking in the future like that might be really cool for some parts like that for some scale details and things like that pretty freaking rad uh, but we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there so many new things coming so please the only way I can get there the only way that I can bring out new stuff is for the homies to support me today to come along right come along for the ride dude it's an experience right to buy a rig <laughs> Sammy, dude, that's so dope, dude. It was just as dope. Let's stop. We got to do it again. Ah, let's go, freaking spicy Sammy. What freaking rip to you flip, dude? It's not really a flip, dude. That's freaking landing on the wheels, dog. That was super dope. I don't think I got that one in the bag. I ain't got that much spice, dog. Super spicy. Great job, Sam. That was dope. All right, dude, I have no idea what the heck I was talking about before all that happened. Uh, oh, black plastic. Okay, yeah, and buying with confidence, these type of things, dude, freaking A. Oh, subscribe if you're new here, dude. Like, share in the freaking uh, world of the internet, dude, all the places, social media. Share it if you like the video. Or maybe some homie would share and like the video, dude. Uh, if you have a Slayer, maybe a homie would like a Slayer. You know, all those type of things. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, dude, because I'm only here and doing this because the homies like and share, right? Like, literally, bro. 
That's the only reason, and we're looking super savage. Are we gonna make it out of that? That is so nasty, dude. That stupid stick is freaking killing it, bro. Yeah, coming. So savage. We're going the wrong way at this point. We need to be going the other way. Oh no, we we took over the leader because Sammy did flip. So we came down cleaner than Sam. So that flipped up from Sam. If we would have all flipped, he would have been obviously back in the leader. But and then look at Craig. He's just bashing over it, dude. Great job, Craig. Killing it. Just rip till you flip. It's one of those things. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Just like going over slow. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. If you don't know the obstacle and you never tried it before, you really don't know what's gonna happen. You can try to predict it. And you can try to guess, but you don't know that that's actually going to be what happens. So, you never know. And that's kind of the way that it goes. So, man. All right. Again, daggum. Free and sidetracked, dude. So, we're talking about plastic or resin. Daggum it. I'll get it at some point. Yeah, exactly, so, this is resin. Happened, so, down. right now, we're only coming in black uh, as far as the resin goes. I have the PETG, obviously, still. Uh, I don't plan on doing those rigs unless somebody just wants them i may send them out extra from the one that you ordered and you'll get this who knows what i'll do uh you know just know that you will get something freaking awesome the best that i have the best that i could make for you uh it was a sacrifice of love i oh, yeah, promise you did uh so i didn't want to send out orders to the homies that sent in and paid money that made this possible right you guys made this possible my parents paid for a printer right but you guys made me able to continue to next week right and if you could just help me to continue doing that into next week this is what happens in just a few weeks right i just need a little bit of help right just a few orders a week dude sharing with your homies means a lot dude uh <laughs> and now hopefully people see this and that, you know, like, so number one thing I felt like my number one problem it was uh, plastic, right? We were running a plastic that didn't look pretty. So if you're running plastic, at least it has to look freaking pretty, right? <clears throat> so because not everybody is about performance only. So, but that's what we could do before. That's what we we're able to do and able to provide. And that's what we did. So just like this, we, we make this step up. Now we're making a bit of a sacrifice towards our durability, potentially. We'll see, don't know. Uh, it is super great. I flipped it every time I flipped it. Uh, it is super great. So I don't think that, you know, I don't suspect that it's gonna break hella easy, but I don't really know, right? Don't really know. It seems awesome, but you know what happens if you go leave it in the sun? Mm. It's probably gonna break uh, at some point, especially if you max it out and you put some Trixies on it and you're like 650 grams. Uh, you know, when you rip from four feet and you fall on the roof, it might crack. crack. You know what? CA glue, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's your best friend. So, you know, fix it and uh, 10 bucks, oh, dude. Oh, I already oh, said it. Oh. So. Don't mean to be a broke record, but at the same time, you know, it's okay. Uh, again, I don't know this stuff is going to break. I really beefed it up. Uh, I don't feel like it's anything like too heavy. I feel like it's all in a good place. Obviously, it's a little heavier. If you're trying to make a super light rig, uh, we're probably not going to be the best choice uh, for like ultra light because, you know, it's a bit, but at the same time, it's not a bad thing. A bit, most of the weight is in a great place. So, um, you know, I don't know. We'll have to try it, but, you know, I prefer to have weight, right? I prefer to have weight. Um, and uh, it's freaking right. Oh, so, but right now, again, black plastic. As soon as I can, the coolest thing ever, dude, we can mix our own colors. That's gonna be freaking rad. You, you think I'm gonna have some lame ass colors? No, we're gonna have some bright colors. We're gonna show off on the rocks. So I gotta get, but in order to make that happen, dude, I gotta have homies help me out today, not holding off till tomorrow. Uh, because you know what? All you gotta do, go out, freaking break it, rip till you flip, and then hit the $10 button when I got the other plastic coming, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it rolls, dude. I need you to trust me in that much, right? And then like, you know, when you're ready to buy a full kit the next time, then you can buy a full kit and help me out, you know? But in the meantime, if you break it, uh, when you order, you get the new stuff. If you didn't know that, go look at the comments. See how many homies, all they did was got a replacements, oh, a cool and they got full there. version of I the newest kits, right? right there, so that's why I Come on, bro. That's not to brag. That's to <laughs> help guys to understand hard. what I'm trying to provide and why <laughs> my price it's might be what it is or what, you know, right now it's stupid low. Uh, you know, while you see this video, if it's still Sunday, uh, you might want to head over to Etsy because this is the last day uh, that this thing will be priced at super duper low. Uh, it's still the old picture, uh, but this is what you will get. Everybody that has ordered, that is waiting on a kit, this is what you will get. 
So if you have ordered, you got a kit, and you want this, I don't know, dude. If it's really a, if you're really bummed out or something, you know, like, and you let down or whatever, holler at your boy, because we can't have that. But at the same time, you got a freaking super awesome rig, and you helped me to get here today. And you know what I'm saying? Just holler at your boy if you're upset, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hope it's like total bad business move to put me in charge because, like, literally. Like, that is, like, one of the things that's, like, so important to me is beyond it's stupid, right? That you are happy, that you enjoy, like, I take this so personally. So, like, if you're not happy, bro, like, I need to know because what did, what, 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 what happened? Was it because I said something and didn't do it? Well, bro, this is what happened and I'm very sorry, bro. Like, I didn't freaking lie to you. I just... I say more than I can do because I, I want you to be happy. I want to give you everything I can and I, I want to make that happen and I just can't, you know, and I, it's, I, I don't mean to, right? I, I, I don't mean to say more than I can do. I don't mean to. And I'm sorry for letting you be down. Sorry for saying that, right? You know, it's just one of those things. Again, we're kind of on broken record, you know. Obviously, I haven't talked to very many people. You know, did you know when you uh, work alone and you draw on an iPad, uh, you know, and uh, nobody's home, it gets kind of lonely, you know what I'm saying? We're just sitting here, just work, 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 work. Because it's just the way, it's like a freaking puzzle. You just got to solve it. And it needs your attention the whole time. There's nothing else you can do. Your focus can't go anywhere else. It just has to be on work, work, work. Jeepers. So I don't say these things to like, oh, woe is Josh. No, I to I just trying to let you know, like, dude, it's been rough. Like, literally, like, I broke down Friday just being exhausted, bro. Uh, it crashed again. Like, I wasted 18 hours. I thought that I could go through. I learned a new feature on the program in history. And, you know, I thought he said fix, right? And I'm like, okay, if I go through all these deal deals, you know, there's like 10,000 of them, literally, not joking, not exaggerating. Uh, you know, if I go through the through them uh, and go through all the things that need fixing, maybe my part will come back, maybe. So I spent 18 hours, dude. I started at like 9 o'clock on Thursday night. And it worked all the way through Friday till like three o'clock, however many hours that is. Uh, I got to the end and it was effed up. <laughs> so we went back. Fortunately, I had gotten the chassis rails. Uh, the chassis is mono chassis, by the way, it's only two parts. Uh, I got the chassis done uh, and, and saved to a model in a place that I'm super duper happy with it. Uh, you know, obviously there's always time for changes, uh, but there will be no changes on this one uh, for at least the way that it is and for a good while until V2 comes out, um, you know, that uh, we still got to make it work with the body and stuff like that. And so I didn't have time to do that with this current version. So we'll figure it out. We'll solve that later. Um, you know, but for now, this thing is absolutely awesome. I don't know what I'm going to do for the other part or whatever, but uh, I have like an older version of this that I had saved the duplicate file. Um, that uh you know just you know was just a lot less than this it didn't have like the all the double shear and stuff Dang it's it. not that i can't make it and get it there but before i do anything else on the drawing program i have to go and spend the time to learn and read all the tutorials and uh <laughs> you know not read them but you know watch them and go through them and learn how to use the program appropriately so that i'm not creating drawings that make the program crash because the program is amazing the program is absolutely awesome there's nothing wrong with the program it's just it's my me and the program together uh is the problem so uh basically oh, if your boy you josh uh, if there's if you can find something and you want to make it hard you know just give it to me bro and i'll make it take four times longer just 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 let me do it i'll show you how uh, that's not really a good idea most of the time. You're trying to go faster. So that's what we have done actually with the plastic. And so like it feels like this was like the, the boss at the end of the level, dude. It just kicked my butt, you know? And it was like, okay, every time, you know, you, you're like... Dang it! Right? You're like, dang it again, bro. We died. Again. Start over, dude. Like, okay, we got left, up, down, down, up, jump, left, right, down, up, down. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so we got there, bro. We figured it out by the end. 
We did master the level. The only problem, we got to the end, and we had nothing to show for it but the model. So, you know, it's okay, dude. We won. We'll figure it out. Uh, but uh, we have something that we can run, that I can print, uh, that I can learn this new stuff on. Uh, and, uh, dude, I am super duper stoked to bring this to you, bro. Like, uh, definitely, I don't look at it and, uh, like, oh, dude, like, I wish it was different. Like, Hell no, dude. This thing is so dope, bro. I can't wait to... Like, I know you haven't hardly actually seen it in this video. The black is super hard to see, which is why I like the colors. Uh, but, you know, black is what a lot of people like to run. Uh, and so that's what I just started with. Just it was the most basic and it covers the most basics. So, but, uh, you know, I can do white, gray, uh, and there's a couple other green or something like that. A couple other things uh, that they do uh, have already in this plastic, this resin. I'm getting closer, dude. Um, didn't actually say the whole word. So, but um, again, I can get white or clear or even gray uh, or even whatever color and dye it. I can buy the dyes. And so I can dye those things. So we're also gonna test, have to test and see how those dyes affect just like anything. Uh, they're gonna have, some are gonna be more brittle, uh, some are gonna be more softer, uh, and we'll have to figure all that out. Uh, you know, and so, but uh, you know, if you're willing to come with me along, along the way, dude, and have an awesome experience, uh, and just let me take care of you, dog. Let's go have some fun, rip till you flip, uh, put it on the rocks, dude, and uh, let's go. We'll make it a different way next time. So. Cannot wait to that, dude. Freaking super awesome colors are gonna be rad. Definitely gonna do some bright colors. So, uh, I like this one, like, you know, I just, all this is is just um, paint on the letters. It comes with, uh, I'll still do that. I'll bring the, uh, I'll keep bringing the needle droppers, the needle dropper bottles to do the letters for yourself. It's just acrylic paint. Um, and then we have just upper links. So, I don't know how we're gonna do color. I really got to think about that. Maybe should have thought about that before this video. At the same time, I don't have time to wait to think about that uh, because I got to get this done because I have things that have to get done after this. Uh, love you, Stan. Coming, dude. Freaking fast as I can go, bro. So, anyways, I got a couple got a couple dudes still waiting on RTRs, man, and I'm freaking sorry. I'm going as fast as I can. Just know that you be built with the dopest, the freshest, awesomest thing that I can build you. Uh, if it's different than what you ordered, you will also get what you ordered. I promise. And you will now double up. Uh, you know, I will talk to you on all of that. So one thing that I am super duper excited about uh, is to paint this stuff because this stuff should paint freaking awesome. Uh, it's already gorgeous. It's already super smooth. Uh, it should basically just need priming uh, and mm. getting after it. Uh, I mean, it's like, whoo, let's go. Dog. Like it. Maybe you should sand it. I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't want to touch it. I just want to spray it and go. Uh, that's the way I kind of roll because you know what dude it's gonna get beat up uh, right Priming and all that stuff like turn. it's gonna get beat up dude. We're gonna go flip it on these jagged Ooh, ass that rocks is right there. It's gonna get beat up So you're gonna spend 20 hours on this thing and then we're gonna go destroy it. So Does it matter if it takes two more bounces dog? No, he really doesn't he really doesn't dude I don't know. Maybe it does you uh, you know, but just some good primer, I think, is enough. Uh, that's the other thing, too. We have black. I was thinking that gray is probably going to be better for, you know, better for paint. Uh, you know, gray primer already. Uh, and then, um, you, you know, so you, it's already gray with, like, the primer. And then as you scrape it and scratch it, you have gray coming through underneath versus black. Right? Much better. So that's probably what I will do. Um, you know, that's probably what I will do. I don't know that we'll have both or what i don't know dude there's so many possibilities at this point but we're doing black today that's what we got so i have the riser freaking new double shear guy so we have the new riser in the rear uh this thing obviously has a new skid because it's a mono chassis bro wait till you see underneath it wait till you see it all in freaking person so sammy just went up that dude uh he's bigger and wider in the trx rig uh, and was just able to reach up there. I'm just not able to reach it uh, and uh, Just not quite just not quite happening dude Just my rear end is going underneath before I had enough bite up on top It's just the way it goes dude. It's just the way it goes sometimes Just like there's other other possible things that I can go up that he cannot because of length So 
So man, I hope that you guys are doing good. I hope that you guys uh, have a great freaking week. Get out with some buddies, rip tell you flip. Buy a freaking Slayer, dude. Uh, again, if you see this on Sunday, bro, <laughs> Sunday pricing is the last day of the slashed pricing of the uh, last final send or whatever that I was calling it. Um, it's not the final send. It was the final send of the PETG. And if you bought it, you didn't actually even get it. So unless you want it, I mean, again, I will send it to you. That's fine. Uh, but you'll probably get this too if you really just, you know, it, so if you want to play tricks, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I, I really, I really want the old one, you know? <laughs> If you want to play tricks, dude, I'll play tricks with you. It's okay. I brought it on myself, and so I don't mind sending out as many extras as I have because I do have a ton of trees printed up uh, in different colors. So I can send those out, uh, and I do have a bunch of rails too and things like that, but uh, it's probably going to be uh, have to print. I will. I had to print a ton of rails to keep up with the amount of uh, trees that I do have. So. Uh, if you guys want those, uh, definitely uh, we can send those out. But this is where we're at today. Uh, so the top part just comes right off. It slides. It has a, a catch in the front and a catch in the back. Um, it's pretty solid. It's really positive stop the first time you put it on. So uh, be got to be careful not to break it. Um, but uh, running it in and out, uh, putting it on and help. Also, I used put WD-40 on it. Uh, that definitely helped to get it closed. Um, and uh, anyway, so it's the positive stop up front and uh, didn't want to make it loose so that uh, later on it just keeps popping off. So just a few times in and out um, and it should work uh, work a breeze, dude. At least it'll be uh, solid on there. That's the goal. So just got to be careful with it. Don't freaking break it, dog. Just take it easy and it works great. Great. Oh my gosh. Look at this, dude. So we didn't quite walk it out as clean, but still we did make it out on the wheels. So watch this, dude. I just hit, I did not know what to expect going off of that. That was like the greatest possible thing, I guess, that you could expect on that situation. We wrapped underneath the rock. We did roll, but you know, that's to be expected. That happens, dog, that happens. But if you didn't notice, this thing rolls to wheels super good, dog super good sideways roll to wheels uh it does roll backwards pretty good to wheels it's not quite uh as good as like a full-on bug uh bug uh, is a bigger you know has a bigger dome and does roll better backwards uh but this will roll backwards uh but definitely the sideways roll to wheels is super dope perfect <laughs> Also, this thing is pretty minimal setup, dude. The links attach from the outside, uh, so um, that's super easy. It has adjustable upper links. That's it. Um, has three positions for your upper links. Woo, Craig! Nice. You did exactly what I did in hyper speed. Can you do it in slow motion? I don't know. Come on, Craig. Let's see it. Slow motion, not hyper speed. You could do it. Wiggle, wiggle. Nice dog. Great job. Great job, Craig. Had you done that the first time, you would have taken a leader. When I was editing this, I was like, well, why didn't he take a leader? I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. He flipped the first time. So, dude, right there, that just shows a little bit, you know, little things that you, if you were driving another Slayer against this and try to run it on the exact same maneuvers, uh, there, the old Slayer was 35 millimeters at the skid plus two millimeters at the rail and then plus another three millimeters on top of that for the slider well this tapers down and at the very bottom is uh right at is it right at the 35 millimeters is what it is so it's or no it might even be inside just slightly of that 35 millimeters uh at the very bottom so uh then it boats and tapers up uh, it also, it, so it does flare out, but then it also tapers in so that we have more steering. Uh, so it's not 35 millimeters between the rails uh, where the tires hit. So right now I am running a 2S uh, Ovonic 300 mAh battery. Um, it's like the, it's kind of like the FMS batteries, the 300 mAh, three, what a 300, 380, 380. Anyways, the FMS batteries. 
It's about similar size to that, and it's actually running longi longitudinally uh, sitting on the upper links. Pretty freaking awesome. I love that way to run it. Uh, it is my new favorite way uh, to run the battery pack with all the steering. Um, pretty freaking rad. You do have to run that with the long links. If you're running the, or the uh, plus front links, if you're running the short front links, uh, that would change that. So the shocks only have one position. Um, there are no other holes. They only go in one place. So the way that you can adjust that uh, as far as what it does, uh, you can change your shocks out. Uh, so it is, cur it is currently running 39 millimeter shocks, and that's the way I would recommend running it. Uh, but you could also run 32 millimeter stock length shocks. Uh, so like I like to run the mountain shocks uh, from Endura uh, with the internal springs. Those are pretty cool. Um, and then uh, you could also in the rear go to a 58 millimeter shock um, on uh, at least on the long uh, rear links they have two holes um, so you could you should be able to run the 58 millimeters I have not run that I have not tried it but it I originally designed it I added 15 <laughs> millimeters I thought to that which is the just you know I thought that's what I did maybe I didn't maybe I effed it up but that should work somebody told me it worked you know blame it on them so <laughs> Uh, anyways, you could potentially try that uh, in the rear, um, and uh, you can also change in the front. You can change uh, where the uh, front links go, uh, the upper links into the chassis uh, by pushing it forward. It's going to actually cause the servo to hit earlier, uh, and you're going to run higher. So if you have a lot of ledges and you want to clear the ledge at the top, uh, all you got to do is just roll the front axle forward. Uh, it's going to help you to stay in taller. You're obviously going to lose a little bit of stability, uh, you know, lifting up. It's kind of lifting up the chest a little bit. Um, and so, uh, but it definitely gives you clearance uh, and it works freaking rad. It just, again, you do lose a little bit of stability. You do lose a little bit of downhill uh, just because it does want to make your, uh, make the suspension pop out more <clears throat> just because you're not running as a belly dragger. So, and then vice versa, you could also roll it back uh, one, and then you could, uh, it would definitely slam down even more. But the problem when you clock your axle back uh, is that it sucks, it wants to suck in. It wants to suck down. So wrapping the top doesn't really happen. It can potentially uh, suck to the side of the hill and go vertical very, very well, but it doesn't do well when you reach the top. So that's something I learned from before in the old setups that we used to run because we ran on the range and these crazy angles and all these things. And it was great, but then when you try to go run ledges, you can't do it. So then I made rigs like the Viper that Sammy was running or this rig here, the Elite, uh, was before it. Um, you know, and these rigs had super crazy dropout and can wrap. Uh, it can be set up to wrap like literally 90 degree angle at the top. Uh, you know, we have shown videos of doing that, you know, pretty friggin' rad. Uh, but at the same time, going to do stuff like this can be really hard uh, if it's not set up properly. So Sam has learned and is demonstrating, uh, you know, the mastery of the Elite and the Viper. He's just freaking killing it uh, with these rigs. Uh, go back uh, six months ago, eight months ago, uh, when these rigs came out and he first started putting them on the channel and watch them be flexy and nasty and uh, you know really hard to drive. So they did well when you're just in big chunk, but then they can really, really struggle when you go put them on terrain like this. This is chunk on the side, which has got to be the hardest possible freaking terrain that you could run on because uh, it's so easy for a tire to start hitting on the side and an angle and then you start going up, it starts to bite. You just have to balance your Vs. The whole, the whole thing here is about seeing the V notches and balancing V's, right? And so that doesn't mean just parallel. That means that you, you know you have to see which one has the grip, where your rear tires are going to be. So maybe you have to veer out of the way for a minute to get your rears to be where they need to be, and then come back with your steering. So that means that you know that it's, that's why it's so 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 super necessary to have huge steering. So that's why uh, I've done what I've done with the chassis because you know even with stock axle housing, this is what I'm running: the stock axle housing in this rig. 
and you can see, you know, like so <laughs> the one side, uh, because I have a plastic steering link, that's also part of the issue, uh, is that it can continue to push a lot farther than it should be going, uh, and it pushes all the way into the link, probably 70 degrees, literally. It's so far uh, when it maxes out uh, and it gets into a bind. It's just absolutely freaking crazy. Uh, you know, it just, it won't go, but, uh, you know, it, it probably well, could still spin. Uh, so, but it hits the, it, it binds into the link and it just can't go anywhere. So freaking crazy, but we moved it in and we said we have crook, we still have our crook links, uh, up front. And then now the chassis is now a crook chassis. So freaking crook mono, bro. Crook mono chassis. We got to come up with a new name. This is the cage slayer. Uh, that may be what it is, but is there, we got to maybe come up with something to uh, denote this version of it. So, um, you know, I really like this idea. It saves me time because it all prints as one time, it prints as one piece. It's super clean. Uh, I only had to bag one piece uh, as far as the chassis and then one piece as far as the cage. It's very easy. They're easy to clean uh, and uh, just freaking awesome to print. Uh, just they print great. So super duper rad. Uh, and then the rest of the parts, we're doing the links out of the PETG. Uh, we're going to do wheels in the same resin, um, so they'll be black. That's how they're going to come, uh, again, for now. So, again, obviously, you can paint the letters and things like that. Or you can just paint the faces, too. Uh, this stuff, again, should paint great. So, there you go. Freaking rip to you. Flip!